Hey Brendan, here's the uh, 2006 325CI M Sport Edition that you inquired on. Thought I'd do you one better than the uh, traditional one dimensional photos you usually see on the internet and uh, send you a quick video on the car. So this was a, a pretty kind of exclusive vehicle to look at from new. Um, the 325CIs were uh, powered by a 2.5 liter inline six cylinder engine, has 184 horsepower and 175 pound foot torque. Um, it isn't uh, underpowered like what you hear is 184 horsepower. Nowadays isn't a whole ton, but uh, with an inline six cylinder they generate a lot more low end torque than most engines do, as well as high end RPM powder. So this is a, a car that's going to get around, easily going to yield back between that 35, 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Very fuel efficient and also all the cosmetics of a, of a 330CI that you usually, uh, you just couldn't get on a 325. Uh, this one here is 26,000 kilometers on it. So very rare to get back a three year lease return with only a uh, 26,000 K. And uh, usually the, uh, the M appointments that you see on the car, like the front fascia there on the bumper, things that you just couldn't get on the 330. They were only uh, limited to, uh, to a 330 model. So has uh, the M wheels, which are a parallel five spoke. And on the rear, you'll see that it has a uh, quite a nice polished uh, finish to the wheel but also the kind of a nice uh, lip style uh, design there in the wheel also has the uh, M insignia there denoting all the M sport packages that you get side skirts are vented out quite a bit more and flared the rear bumper has a rear diffuser which is the uh, the insert right here that you see along the way chrome exhaust tips in 2004, they went to an LED style taillight with no amber coloring, all clear white and red. So you can see in the actual lens there, there's a gamut of different bulbs there, which makes a much clearer display from the back. You have a 3M lip spoiler on the back here as well. Finishes off the trunk lid nicely. The rear windows are powered, so they do actually with this hinge cylinder right here, you can see that vents out and in. Clear corner lights as well. Yeah, it's a great looking car. And I've been with the company for about seven years with uh, with BMW, and to see a, a lease return coming back after three years with only 26,000 kilometers is a pretty rare find. But uh, second thing is to find a black exterior that shows this clean. The the paint really has no swirl marks or anything. It shows exceptional in its condition. So it's a little bit windy here today, so I hope it's not coming through on the camera too bad, but give you a bit of a walk around here on all angles. Interior trim normally on these three series is an aluminum, but uh, on the uh, M Executive Editions for 2006, they have a kind of a carbon, uh, carbon fiber trim. Windows are auto leveling, so when I open up the door, you'll see the auto level down and up. Being a frameless window, locks into a nice tight V groove here. So when you close the door, Seals up and in, giving you less wind noise and road noise. There's a look at the door panel. And this is that trim that I was talking about. And that's laced throughout the interior. Inserts right here. Has a nice gloss to the finish of that. Three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with the thick bolstering at 10 and 2 positions. And then you also have the uh, M detailing there, as well as it is multifunction. So you have audio as well as cruise controls right on the front of the steering wheel. It adjusts telescopically, so out, in and out, as well as up and down. Kick sills have the uh, M detailing there. Power seats that are uh, memory coded to laser cut keys. Sport seats as well, so you have the length extension in the front. So I'm not sure if you're a taller guy, but for long driving, it gives you a lot of support underneath your thighs and your legs. So very comfortable seat and you can see in the backing here really bolsters in the sides there. One release right here, pops that seat back. There's a look at your back seat. And the seat, the way that they adjust, you'll see when it's down like this, if you adjust it up, it has a cantilever style so it actually lifts up as well, giving you maximum leg space when your back seat people are just hopping in. Two sets of floor mats with the car winters as well as the summers underneath that have never been sat on. Dead pedal as well with M detailing there and the brushed aluminum. Daytime running light sensor so when you come to six or seven o'clock at night the uh, xenon headlights are popped on automatically and fog lights right here. Onboard computer 
Then I'll go through all the options. Give it a bit of digital climate controls. And there's the, uh, there's the mileage as it sits, 26,551. Onboard computer features are gonna give you your time, outside air temperature display, as well as your fuel economy, distance till empty, average speed, and then back to your time. The adjustment for the sunroof is up above right here. Not sure how well it comes through in the camera, but there you go, right there. Of course, you have the, the sunroof up above. Yeah. I guess you have to be here in person to appreciate it, but the, uh, the interior of the car shows as new. This is a, a vehicle you could easily just pop back in the showroom and uh, be pretty hard to decipher that from a brand new 2009. kind of browse through the interior. So it's uh, kind of a, a great combination of all angles. Uh, you know, to, to get the cosmetics, it's always been something traditionally in the past, you, uh, you had to make a sacrifice on the fuel economy side. So having a 2.5 liter inline six, again, 184 horsepower, this is gonna yield back mid to high 30s for fuel economy on the highway. So very fuel efficient, but um, you have the cosmetics really no different than an M3, so. Kind of a good combination of all, uh, all elements of the car. Just gonna show you all angles here. And on uh, all the sport packages or M executive packages for 2006, normally you get a chrome window finish around the window well, which you can see on, um, say, the white car behind me there. So you usually have that chrome finishing there. On the, um, on the 3 Series for the last production run of this body style, they went with a black high gloss shadow line trim. So you'll see there's no, uh, no chrome finishing around the window well. It's very sleek, clear corner lights, Folding side mirrors that break in and out. And just a great looking car. So, it's kind of a eight minute walk around on the vehicle. If you have any questions on the vehicle at all, I'll be in contact with you uh, later on this afternoon. I think when you emailed in, you just replied with an email address, so I guess I won't be calling you, but um, if you want to have a browse through this, and if you want to reach me um, in the reply on the email, You'll have my cell phone number as well as the dealership's phone number or we can just correspond via email. We do about 40% of our sales out of province so we do a lot of, uh, a lot of emailing back and forth with videos and walk rounds. This is a vehicle that um, you can purchase with confidence and uh, not going to be disappointed when you see it, that's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll, uh, I'll be talking to you shortly.